Wow, such a great event, right? Um, my name is Eric, I am from Singapore, and today I'm going to talk about how we crafted our development experience building the components library with the help of Luna and Storybook. I'm a front-end engineer at Rakuten Viki, where we build Rakuten Viki, a power TV platform powered by, uh, powered by fans. We also view other projects based on React called Sumpi and, and Rakuten Spots. And we share a lot of UI components. So we started building our um, React components library a few months ago, and this is how we do it. So what, would we, what do we need for our components library? Of course, the focus is on the component. Uh, we want our components to be as isolated, standalone, and reusable as possible. Separation of concern is a key here because it doesn't help only with the developing of the components, but also consuming them. I'm sorry, I'm just, wow. Um, and of course, the components library cannot be completed without a good uh, documentation. So with that in mind, we focus on the two things. Number one is to develop with a component-driven mindset. So this brings a lot of benefits, including a focused developing experience. We have a better visual test-driven development workflow where we can cover better UI edge cases. It's easier for us to do, to do review and feedback across the teams, for example, with designers or your product managers. And also, all your components can be developed at the same time. The second thing we want to achieve is living documentation. Because nowadays, with the speed of development, code is really the only single source of truth here. So with the two things, Storybook comes as a perfect tool for us. And I want to emphasize here that Storybook is not just another documentation tool. It can help us achieve much more than that. You can use Storybook as a component dev tool. And you can see here, this solves a lot of our pain point. Because before Storybook, we, how we develop our component is we either have to develop the component in our main code base, or we create a new app instance using Create React App, and then we write in code, we write tests, we style the, the component, and then after everything is finished, we port them over the components library, which is not a very good workflow. So now we only need Storybook and our component. The next thing Storybook can have is to be used as a component explorer where we can play around with all your props and see how it looks like in, um, in different uh, configuration. And this brings to the next point where we can use Storybook as a visual TD3 tool where you can test the component responsiveness or you can test how it looks like with your light mode or your dark mode, as you can see right now. And last but not least, you can use Storybook as a living UI docs where all the props table and your code example are auto-generated for you. So after we got all the components, we put all of them in a mono repo with the help of Lena to make it easier to manage. For those who don't know what Lena is, it's a tool for managing JavaScript projects with multiple packages. And we also build a component generator to uh, start developing our components as fast as possible. Uh, with not much of the effort, uh, only around 100 lines of, of uh, Node.js code, we can start developing our components in less than a minute. And because on what we want to focus here is our components. And uh, that's how we do it. And it, of course, it's not done yet. We are still improving in terms of style, customization, and uh, bundle size. So if you have any questions for me, if you have any feedback or advice, please hit me up after this. You can find me on uh, Twitter, GitHub. Um, that is a, really a little bit hard to spell. So you can just Google Vietnamese last name. I'm sure you can find it. And that's it. Thank you.